Welcome! This video explores how the NIH uses Notices of Funding Opportunities NOFOs, to advertise our grant opportunities. We'll cover the types of funding opportunities we use, how they differ, and where to find them. Notice of Funding Opportunity NOFO, is the general term used to reference any type of funding announcement. NIH uses two types of opportunities, Requests for Applications RFAs, and Program Announcements PAs, all of which vary based on three key factors, scope, funding source, and application due dates. Scope. All funded research must align with the mission of NIH and the NOFO's participating institutes or centers ICs. The scope of our NOFOs range from broad opportunities for a wide range of research topics, to ones that define a general area of interest, all the way to others with a well-defined narrow scope. Funding source refers to whether a participating IC will use their general funds or funds set aside in their budgets to make awards. If funds are not specifically set aside, applications across many opportunities compete together for the same general IC funds. And lastly, application due dates. Some opportunities offer multiple submission, review, and award cycles each year and are posted for up to three years, while others have only a single due date or a few due dates. Let's start with Request for Applications, also known as RFA. RFAs have a narrow, well-defined scope with specific program objectives. Participating ICs set aside funds in their budgets to award applications, and the Award Information section of the RFA indicates the number of expected awards and or the total amount of funds budgeted. RFAs often have a single due date and may not be posted again. Now let's talk about Program Announcements, also known as PAs. PAs announce new or ongoing programs. They may serve as a reminder of continuing interests in a research area or simply invite applications for grant support. Applications to PAs are considered investigator-initiated. PAs typically do not have set-aside funds, so applications across multiple PAs compete together for general IC funds. PAs use a standard due date schedule that defines three submission, review, and award cycles each year and are posted for up to three years, after which they may or may not be reissued. There are some program announcements with special receipt referral and or review considerations, which we call PARs. Examples of these special considerations include the use of non-standard due dates, assignment of all applications to a single IC to coordinate review with later reassignment to participating ICs for award, or the inclusion of opportunity-specific review criteria that are used in addition to standard review criteria. We also have program announcements with set-aside funds, which we call PASs. Parent announcements are program announcements with the broadest scope. They are used for investigator-initiated research, but unlike other PAs, they do not specify an area of scientific interest or announce a particular program. Applications to parent announcements compete with applications to other PAs for general IC funds. They use a standard due date schedule and are posted for up to three years and are then reissued. Parent announcements can be used for research grants, fellowships, career development, training, administrative supplements, and post-award administrative actions like a change of institution request. We also have different parent announcements based on whether clinical trials are allowed. We've covered a lot of information. Let's take a moment to review. Requests for applications, RFAs, have the most narrowly defined scope, use set-aside funds, and a single or few submission due date options. Generally, program announcements, PAs, inform the community of new or ongoing programs that highlight areas of scientific interest. They compete for general IC funds, and they use our standard due date schedule. Exceptions to those general characteristics are identified by our three special types of PAs. PARs are PAs with special receipt, referral, or review considerations. PASs are PAs with set-aside funds. 
And lastly, parent announcements have the broadest scope and do not specify an area of scientific interest or announce a particular program. You can find all NIH funding opportunities in the NIH Guide for Grants and Contracts, or NIH Guide for short, linked from the home page and under the Funding tab of our grants.nih.gov website. Subscribe for weekly emails that summarize posted opportunities and other notices by clicking on the link at the top of the NIH Guide page. We hope this information helps you in your journey to secure NIH funding. For additional information, be sure to visit our Understand Funding Opportunities page on our website. Thank you for watching.